Hello everybody, it is Flashback here. We're going to be playing some more Wreckfest here today. Today's quote-unquote mod spotlight is going to focus on a couple of different mods. I'm not going to focus on this or this, I'm going to keep them on. We're going to focus on the Snedderton Race Circuit, which is uh, currently in Alpha, and the Drift Fest mod. Now I have played with it once before, but I realized I had the wrong tires on. You'll see right there in the third line, it does require... Uh, standard tires does not affect the car's physics at all it only uh, affects a tarmac slash asphalt surface so we're gonna give it a shot here and we're gonna try it on the Snedderton race circuit which is actually a really fun circuit I'm gonna do it without any uh, opponents first off I'm actually gonna do a banger race yeah two laps will be fine on this track well I'll go five I can exit at any time We'll run clear day, uh, yeah, we'll run a 300 layout, and let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to keep my stability control on full, I don't think it made a difference. So, like I said, it does require standard tires, so that's what I am running. I don't mind this, they re it's something that needs to get fixed, like, the, like it says, the map is in very early development. And my controller is not working, so let's get that set up here real quickly. My Steam controller is on the gamepad. So let's get into third person here. Come on, shift. There we go, there we go. Okay. So it's definitely a mod that you do need to focus a little more on... Uh, Oh, wow, this is nice. Look at that. Ooh. This is actually done really nicely. It is a mod you have to focus a little more on, uh... Oh, wow, look at that. It's actually pretty realistic. Okay, so you can definitely... It actually feels really good. It's uh, like I was trying to say before I got a little caught up in that turn back there. It is definitely a mod where you have to focus a little more on, uh, on throttle control. Oh man, this is a lot of fun. Oh, the bright sun, the bright sun. There we go. Oh, I really need a mini map. Yeah, I had a feeling that one wasn't going to work out nearly as well as I was hoping it would. Kind of wish I was... Oh, God! Come on, save it. Save it. There we go. Kind of wish I was running automatic at this point. Yep. So it's definitely something you have to get used to. Not nearly as grippy as uh, the game normally is. Wow. Oh, definitely gave it too much there, not quite enough speed, which is kind of odd. Again, something I'm not used to in this game. I'm actually going to have to work on uh, running these corners with increased angle and speed, much like other games. It's really actually quite fun, and this track, there's actually three different layouts. For different classes which is really nice and it's got these straights and it's also got uh, these corners that are a little more demanding oh yeah look at that oh I love it oh imagine the tandems oh this could be so much fun I think I'm gonna start up a server with this if you want to see if you wanna if you want me to run a server with this mod with this drift fest mod Leave a like. Let me know. This would be so much fun. I mean, jeez. Oh, I need a wider track. Then again, I suck at drifting, so that kind of makes sense. Oh, God. I also need, uh, need to be able to clutch kick. Somebody tell Bugbear to hurry up and get the clutch implemented. Come on. I almost feel like I have too powerful of a car at times than that. Other times, it's not quite powerful enough. 
Fortunately, I can fix both of those. I can make it a little more powerful, or I can back it down. That's the great thing about the additional parts mod. Alright, I'm gonna do this. I'm ripping it. I'm ripping it! Yeah, that wasn't working. I almost had it, honestly, if I would have ripped it maybe a little bit sooner. There we go, that's nice. Just look at how you can extend the drifts. Nope, I did that way too early. Again, the fourth gear should not be able to come out quite that much in that low of the RPM. This uh, mod does really allow for weight transfer to uh, work properly, though. Woo! It's a lot of fun. I suddenly recommend this mod. Like I said, I had tried it once before, but that was with racing tires instead of the standard tires it recommends. So yeah, it is. Woo, I'm gonna have to try this on a default track. I feel like this track might be slightly too long in the corners. For this vehicle at least. Yeah, look at that. Some corners it takes perfectly, others it just can't handle. Like that one for example. I don't know what exactly I was planning on doing there. Woo! Perfect! Get it! Get it! There we go. This is what I guess I would call the backstretch on this, uh, on this track. And this is actually a real-life track. I don't remember what country it's in. It does say in the mod description, so feel free to check that out. Oh, Moon Gravity took over there for a second. I will always play with Moon Gravity. It is literally the coolest mod when uh, AIs hit each other and wreck. Come on, bring it back in. There we go. Surprisingly enough, these drifts are actually really easy to control. It's not something I was really expecting. I know it says control drift mod, but I wasn't expecting it to be like Forza Horizon 2 uh, controllable. There we go, and bro, I definitely kept on the gas a little more than I should have there. Whee! I am full right, just so everyone knows. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and quit out of this map, and we're going to go into a different map. Or track, I should say. Um... I don't think we're going to do the go-kart track. Um, I'm thinking Tarmac 1. Let's do it. I'm going to let it load up. Again, I'm going to do it without other cars, although I think it'd be hilarious to watch the AI try to drive because it changes the track and not the player's car. So we'll see how well it works out here. All right, there we go. Take off a third, and still smoke the tires. Oh yeah, look at that. I love it. I love it. Definitely uh, cut in a little sooner than I probably should have there. Oh, this is a perfect corner for it. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that.
Oh, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful thing. Can I do this corner? Nope, this corner's still gonna beat me. Yeah, that corner's still gonna beat me. I don't think I'll ever win against that corner. Oh, come on. Straighten out. Let's go. There we go. Come on, turn. There we go. Shift into fifth. Come on. Yeah, there I just had too much angle and it was getting to be a little too difficult to try and save. Ooh, it is a lot of fun, though. Oh, yep, yep. There it goes again. Shift. Come on. Yep, now I'm letting it get too much angle. Uh, come on. Ah. Definitely does require a little bit of e-brake tapping to do it what I can, would consider to be proper. i just extend it out and I'll call that a win. I will call that a win against that corner. Oh, come on. And then I just uh, overcorrect it, overcompensate and completely lose it. Extend it, not that much. Bring it back in, perfect, look at that. I love this, I love this mod. It's so much fun. Perfect. Oh yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Yep, cut it a little too soon there. Oh, come on, wall. So I'm starting to get to the point where I'm actually nervous going into the corners because I feel like I'm actually just going to lose it. I like that. I feel like I'm going to overcompensate coming into a corner and it's just going to end up poorly. But then other times I can do that and just rip it. No, nope, too much. Like that. But then you just let off the gas you can save it just like any other drifting game. Oh, I, I tried to extend it a little too far there, and it ended up costing me the corner. Come on. Yep, see? And then I basically let the weight transfer control the car too much, and then what happened back there happens. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's fun. It's awesome. Highly recommend this mod. It is a mod that changes the gameplay, but I feel like it is definitely for the better. Just like that. Come on. Definitely does require quite a bit of throttle management, but... Then again, drifting in general does require a lot of throttle management. But I gotta tell you, it does actually show the power of the car a little bit more than the base game does. Extend, extend. Not that much. Oh, I almost had it. Definitely want to be off the gas when you uh, do come back, when the weight transfer hits. When you're on a straightaway, I mean. Yep, oh, too much. Mostly because I did use the e-brake there. There we go. Come on. Yep, there. See the weight transfer hit, and I happened to be on the gas right when it did, and it just threw the car sideways. But then you can just do that and just rip it out of a corner. It is so much fun. I do recommend this with additional parts. Yep, that time I uh, initiated way too late. There we go. 
go. Bring it out. That corner is quite difficult. A lot more difficult than you'd think it to be. I think it's because the length is deceiving and I think it does get sharper the closer to the end of the turn you do get. Anyway, I'm going to count that as beating that corner. I really don't care what any of you say. That is the best I've ever done on that corner. With or without the mod. Yeah, definitely want to be off the gas when you hit the weight transfer. <laughs> oh god, it is so much fun. Definitely, definitely check out this mod on the workshop. But that's going to end it for this episode. If you want to see more of this mod, I'm probably for sure going to do some. I might even start a series specifically with this mod. Oh my god, it is so much fun. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this, please leave a like. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. We will see you next time. Until then, as always, take it easy. Yeah, burn. <laughs> Do a donut and fourth. Why not? There we go. Oh, yeah, that feels good. Right there. It's a beautiful thing. All right. Well, enjoy uh, every single mod you can find on the workshop. Just be aware some do not work very well. It's going to happen in this early of a stage. <laughs>